Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this video we are going to learn about MIT App Inventor. So this video is for beginners. So even if you don't know anything about MIT App Inventor, you will be able to create many mobile apps. That's what we are going to do in this video. So here are the things which we are going to do in this video about MIT App Inventor. First of all, let's see what is MIT App Inventor. We all use many apps in our mobile phones for different purposes. So have you ever wondered how apps are created in an Android device? Mobile apps are created using programming languages like Java and Kotlin. This means that you need to type a lot of code to create a small app. To make app development easier, MIT has created a tool called App Inventor using which you don't need to type any code to create mobile apps. So you just need to drag and drop blocks and your app will start working. First, let's log in to MIT App Inventor. You need to go to this website. I'm going to give the link in the description below. Next, click on create apps. Now you need to log in with your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you can click on the create account button and it is very easy to create a Google account. If you're logging in to MIT App Inventor for the first time, you'll be able to see this. Just click on this button. I accept the terms of service. And there you go. Your MIT App Inventor account has been created. You are logged in to MIT App Inventor. Click on continue. And these are some sample apps which you can do. Now we are, you'd be able to see after you log in, you'd be able to see your email ID, your Gmail ID here at the top. Now let us create our first project or first app using MIT App Inventor. You need to go click on this button start new project next you need to enter the project name so this can i'm going to put the project name as first app make sure you if you put any spaces you it will not allow you so if you put spaces it will be replaced with underscores so the project name should be without any space now click on ok now you can see that your first app this project is created if you want to see all your projects go to projects and click on my projects and you'll be able to see all of your projects here now you can see that my first app project is visible here let me click on it to start creating the app you'd be able to see two sections here one is the designer and then we have the block section first let us look at the designer the designer is where you'd be able to design your app you would be able to put all of these user interface elements and you'd also be able to see how your app looks first let us look at the palette the palette has all the components or elements which you need to create a mobile app like buttons check boxes and you can also insert images you have a label and all of these there you can also insert layouts here also there are many components for media drawing and animation maps and then you have the different sensors so you can access these sensors present in the mobile using MIT App Inventor. And then you have something called social where you can share and you can also phone call within your app. And you have storage where you can store something in a database. And then you have connectivity and then this one you have and then you have an extension. So what an extension does is it, it is like a component which is not present here. So if you if any component is not present here, you need to import the extension file over here. Next, we have the viewer. So viewer is the place where you will be able to see how your mobile app looks in a mobile. So first I'm going to from the palette, I'm going to bring in a button and then you can see that the button is visible in the viewer. Next, we have the components. This shows all the list of components or elements which you have imported into this mobile app. For example, if I bring in a checkbox and then an image, you'd be able to see that in the component section, it is getting added. First, we have a button, a checkbox, and we also have an image. Next is the properties. So the properties is to change the properties of each of these components. So for example, if I click on button one, you'd be able to change all the properties like the background color, the bold form, bold and then if you want to enable it or disable it you can change the font size and there are many options here first let me change the background color from this default to blue now you can see that in the viewer it is getting changed to blue 
the same way you can change it for a checkbox too so each of these components have its own set of properties for this checkbox i'm going to make the font bold now you can see that the font or the text is bold here you can also increase the font size and then let's go to the image and here we have different properties like if you want to put a picture here you need to click here and you need to upload the picture file like the png or the jpg file so you can do all of these in the property right below the component section you have the media section here you can upload different types of files like mp4 or video files you can also upload images jpeg or it can be png and you can also upload audio files you can upload all the files if you need to use them in this app now i'm going to delete all of these components to delete a component you need to select the component you want in the component section and click on delete like this if you want you can also rename the component now the name of this is check checkbox one you can rename it by clicking on this button so i'll also delete all of these now i'm going to bring in a button and then a label let's let us look at the block section so just click on this blocks button and you are at the block section this is where we do all the functionalities of the app so for example what i'm going to do is you can see that in the designer i have a button and then a label i'm going to make this label not visible by unchecking this box the check box here you can see that in the properties of this label first select label in the components and in the properties there's a property called visible i'm going to uncheck this so that the label is not visible now to add the functionality let's go to the block section what i'm going to do is when the user clicks on this button we will make the label one visible or else the label one will not be visible so to do that in the block section first go to the blocks of button one so there are two types of blocks built in and then we have the component blocks so these are the built in blocks like if conditions and then we have the mat or the operators blocks and everything here and these are the components block so using this i'm going to bring in this block when button one click this bl block means that when someone clicks on this button so what we need to do is we need to make this visible so you can also change the properties of a component in the block section so i'm going to select the label and, we, and if you scroll down a little bit you'd be able to see there's a block called set label one dot visible to let's bring in this block and here i'm going to change this to be true which means that you can see that now the label one is not visible because i have unchecked this bo box i mean the property and then in the block section what i'm going to do is when some user clicks on this button we will make the label visible again which means set label one dot visible to true like this as you know the basics of the designer and then the block section we can start creating our first app now we are going to create a simple Hello. app where you'll be robot. able to see an image of a robot and the robot will speak out so let us create a new project and i'm going to name this speaking robot app now you can see that the project is created i'm going to set this to be tablet size as you know mit app inventor is compatible on all android devices like a phone or a tablet so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the theme of this to be device default next you can see that there's a title appearing here which shows screen one if you want you can change the title i'm going to change the title to be the same here speaking robot app so you need to in the properties of screen one you'd be able to see title i'm going to change this title to be speaking robot app now you can see that the title is visible here at the top of this app next what i'm going to do is we are going to put an image of a robot so for that let's go to the palette and from this palette we are going to bring in the image component where we will show the image of a robot now to upload the image in the properties of the image one component go to the picture here and click on upload file and then when you click on choose file you'd be able to see a uh, open file dialog where you can choose your file now you can see that i uploaded the robot image as you can see here and it is visible in the image one component next let's bring in a button 
here let's change the text of this button to be speak i'm going to make the font to be bold like this you can see that the font is bold make sure make sure you do all of these in the properties of button one and then i'm going to change the background color of this to be orange now you can see that the background color is orange if you want you can increase the font size so in this property i'm going to increase the font size to be 25 like this and you can see that the font size is increased here next i'm going to put this button to be at the center of screen one so to do that let's click on the screen one properties and there is a property called align horizontal i'm going to set this to be center when you set this to center you can see that all the components are centerly aligned in the horizontal manner so if you want you can also set align vertical to be center like this to center them when they are arranged vertically as i told you before we are going to make this robot speak out of the mobile speaker so for that we are going to use a component called text to speech so to bring in the component let's go to media and you can see that there is a con component called text to speech what this component does is you you need to give the text which it needs to speak and it will convert it into speech and it will speak it out so that it will be like the robot is speaking we have finished designing this app you can see that the image is visible and we have also brought in the button next let's do the functionality part of this app so for that let's go to the block section as i told you before so first let's go to button one and here you can see there's a block called when button one dot click this means that when button one is the speak button as you can see the speak button is called button one so when a user clicks on this button what we need to do is we need to tell this robot to speak out a message so for that we will use the text to speech so let's go to text to speech and there's a block here called call text to speech one dot speak message let's bring in this block here and then the message which we need to which we need to make the robot speak is going to be let's go to text and there's a text block here so here you can type any text you want so i'm going to type the message as hello i'm the robot now you can see that i have typed hello i'm a robot as the message for this text to speech so whenever somebody clicks on the button one it will speak out this message next you need to test your app to see if it is working so currently there are three ways using which you can test your app to see if it is working first is connecting to mit ai to companion or your mobile so this is the easiest method of all the three next we have mit app inventor android emulator and then we have the building your app to make dot apk file so first let us look at the easiest method which is mit ai to companion first let us look at the easiest method of connecting to your mobile and testing the app which is mit ai to companion for that go to connect and click on ai companion you'd be able to see a qr code and then a six digit code here like now in the mobile you need to go to the play store because we need to install an app called mit ai to companion so that we can connect and test the app so here you need to search for mit ai to companion now you can see that here you can see mit ai to companion you should click on install here now i have already installed it so just click on open you need to scan the qr code which is shown in the screen to connect it hello i am a robot you can see that i connected the app through mit ai to companion and now it is working next you need to share this app with your friends and family so for that you need to generate an apk file so using this apk file anyone can install this app your app in their android phone so for that go to build here at the top of any app you have created in mit app inventor and then you'll be able to see android app dot apk click on this now you will be able to see two options here first you can download the dot apk and if you want you can also scan this qr code so that this apk file will get downloaded automatically so using this apk file you can install the app so what you need to do is you can download the apk file using this button and share it with everyone congratulations you have created your first app next what you need to do is you need to create your own chat app using mit app inventor so watch this tutorial 
and also if you want to create more fantastic apps like this watch the full course here